Jonathan Gavoni here of Draft Express at the McDonald's All-American Game. Uh, here with uh, Ray McCallum. Uh, how's the week going so far? Uh, it's been great, you know, having a lot of fun, uh, just hanging out with the guys and going at it in practice and uh, just having a good time. What does it mean for you to be uh, named uh, a McDonald's All-American? Is that something that you expected? It, it means a lot, you know. Um, this is something that I've wanted uh, ever since I was little and, and known about the game. And uh, I'm just honored to be here and uh, just trying to have the, have the most fun here and just enjoy the moment. What, uh, w w being here this week, is this about, you know, uh, sh showing ma people maybe that you're a better point guard, they have you ranked? Is that one of your goals, kind of kind of coming in, going up against the best and maybe proving that, you know, that you are maybe like the elite point guard in this class? Um, you know, it's, it's all about having fun here, you know, and then when, when we're on the court, you know, it's all about going at it and uh, just trying to prove that uh, you're one of the best. Uh, my goal is to come in here and uh, just show that I'm one of the top point guards in the class of 2010 and just uh, prove my game to everyone that I can play. A lot of people thought that you got robbed last night at the dunk contest. Uh, we do, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think the dunk contest was good. You know, Josh was great. Um, I think if I would have just got that one between the legs, I probably would have won. Uh, but I tried that windmill at the end to save me. Uh, I thought it was going to get me through, but uh, I came up short. But it was all right. It was a lot of fun, though. A lot of people were talking afterwards that they had no idea that, you know, that you were that caliber of an athlete. Um, is that something that you just haven't been able to show in games as much? Or have you improved athletically recently? All right. Uh, over the summer, um, I didn't have all that bounce over the summer. My knees were bothering me a little bit, but uh, I got back before school started, got in the weight room, uh, got my legs back. Um, my whole high school uh, senior year this year, I, I pretty much dunked everything, and um, no one really knew I had that bounce in me, so I just kind of wanted to get in the dunk contest and just show the world that I got a little bounce in me. So you, right now you're not committed to, um, to any college. I guess you're still trying to figure that out. Um, what, what is the, the process for you in terms of, you know, how are you going to go about deciding what school is, is the best fit for you? Um, I'm just going to come here, have fun here. Then uh, April 8th and through the 10th, I'm going to go play in the Derby game in Kentucky. And then um, after that, uh, signing, signing day is like the, that week. So just enjoy these couple of games, um, just hang out with my friends and stuff, and then uh, really sit down with my family and talk about it in the next couple of weeks and then uh, make a decision sometime soon. What are you, uh, what are you looking for in terms of uh, you know, a college? What's the, what's the, the main priorities for you? Uh, you know, I'm just looking for somewhere I can come in and play right away, uh, a good team with a good coach, um, you know, somewhere I'm going to win and uh, somewhere where a coach is going to let me play my game. Um, in terms of um, the NBA, is that something that is too early to think about at, at this stage? Oh, no, never. You know, um, that's my goal in life. You know, I want to get to the next level. Um, I've dreamed about being in the NBA ever since I was little, and I'm uh, just going to keep working and try and get there. What are the – is one and done, is that is that an option for you? Um, that would be nice, but um, – you know, I know I still got to keep working and uh, just have a try to have a big year next year in college. Um, and you know, I'm gonna keep working however long it takes me to get there. I'm just gonna keep working until I get there. So if you decide to go play for your, your dad at Detroit, I guess you could, you know, you'd be the man there. You could do whatever you want, and it might that would improve your chances, I guess, uh, of showcasing your skills. Is that is that a factor in you know the the recruitment process? Um, yeah, you know, um, playing for my dad would be great. You know, he's been my coach my whole life. Uh, you know, he's taught me everything I learned. Um, you know, he knows my game better than anyone out there. Um, but, you know, it's all about um, what you do on the court. You know, any situation I'm in, it's just all about me, me playing. And, you know, coaches can coach, but it's all about players playing. How much pressure is it for you, you know, to know that by going to play for your dad, you could, you know, help him improve his standing and maybe help get a, a bigger job. I mean, that's a lot of pressure for a kid who's 18 years old to be under, right? Yeah, yeah it is, you know. Um, but, you know, it's my decision. So uh, if I decide to go play for my dad, it's, uh, you know, because I want to go help my dad out and help him win. And, you know, if I don't, then I just want to go and get away. But, um, uh, but yeah, it would be, be kind of cool to play for my dad, though. How uh, disappointed do you think you'd be if you decided to go somewhere else? Uh, I don't know how disappointed I'd be. You know, he's, he's my dad. You know, he's going to support me through whatever I do. But uh, I know in his heart that he really wants me to play for him. Ray, I want to thank you so much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of the week and, and your college career.